Well, hey, my friends. I wanted to take you on a little journey with me today. I am organizing my armor closet in my bedroom, and I thought I would just share with you my process for doing that. It is nap time right now, so my little guy is sleeping. I don't have a ton of time, but I have enough that will hopefully make this project uh, complete and make a big difference. So our bedroom is extremely tiny. We have no closet and one dresser. So um, this armoire system that we have is from Ikea. It was second hand and um, I had found this particular armoire on the Ikea website. I wanted it with all my heart and soul. I felt like it would really go with our home and I ended up um, finding it second hand for a couple hundred dollars cheaper, which was awesome. So this armoire holds all of our hanging clothes, um, it holds all of my purses, it holds all of my husband's clothes, and um, shoes, all kinds of stuff. And so it's, hello here. <laughs> so it's really got to do a lot of work for us. And right now, it's working okay, but I think there's some organizing that I can do that will make it a little bit function, function a little bit better for us. So I'm going to share with you that process. Um, I'm probably just going to do some check-in video footage because I, f the way my room is set up, um, if I had you on a tripod and just kind of showed you as I'm working, I think that you would see my backside most of the time and well, let's face it. Nobody wants to see my backside, and I don't want to be showing the whole YouTubes what my backside's looking like. <laughs> so, um, it'll be a series of check-ins. I'm going to show you the armoire in its unfinished, untouched state. I'm literally going to open the doors and show you all of the ugly and disorganization all at once. And that's freaky for me, because... I don't know. Do you just have people come over and look in your cabinets? I do. So, um, yeah, sometimes people come over and they're like, I'm going to look in your cabinet. So, I do have that happen. But I'm just going to randomly and openly and just kind of show you. So, um, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're just going to do it. Let's go. Okay, so this is the armoire. As you can see, I have got my broom here. This is a bag of clothing um, that is spring and summer. So, I'm in the process of pulling all of that out as well. So this is the armoire. You can see in the mirror that I have a pile of junk that needs to be gone through. So those are that blue and white striped bag. That is my current purse. And on my planner today is to switch out that bag for a different one. And we have some lovely curtains. So I'll just show you a bit of this side of the room. So all of this is just window. So on the top is some storage, and then here on the side is laundry. So that is our hamper, and I think I'm going to move this because I don't like that you can see this from the doorway. So if you keep our door open, you can see that when you kind of come in my house, and I'm not a fan. Um, I have got my phone ready to go to kind of keep me on track with time. I've got some fresh coffee. I've got a cloth. Uh, to clean out the armoire. I've got my favorite, all-time favorite cleaner. It's the Scentsy uh, Counter Cleaner in Coconut Lemongrass. I've got a bag here for trash, and I've got my iPad over here. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is all of our um, hanging clothes. And then on top, I have a couple things that um, that this right here, that is a dress that I need to take back. This is my Scentsy Team t-shirt, so I'm not doing Scentsy anymore, but that shirt is kind of sentimental to me, um, and I don't really want to wear it because I don't want to get it stained up, so I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. Um, these two baskets hold a lot of purse accessories, um, different clutches and embellishments and different things like that for my purses. These are um, all my jewelry, and so let me pan you down. This is the bottom. I do my hair in my bedroom, and this right here is all my hair supplies. We've got a garbage can um, underneath here. So let's see if I can show you. Um, 
these are my purses. So where that blue and white striped bag was when I first showed you, kind of in the mirror, that has got all of my other purses. I was looking at switching them out, um, and so I pulled them all out the other day, and I didn't put them back because I knew I was going to do this organizing project, and they were all going to come out anyways. Um, I, we do have this shoe rack underneath of here. Like some clothes have fallen. Um, and it does have some dressier shoes. Actually, they're kind of things that we don't wear a whole lot. There's like high heels and um, different things. So that is a look at the door, the hanging side. Now this is Shane's side where he keeps the majority of his clothes. So this is just kind of a look. He's got his socks in this basket down here and he keeps um, his underwear and belts and um, other accessories in this little thing right here so these are our nightstands I'll do a whole room tour later our rooms kind of a mess right now and it's just not ready um, but he keeps his um, under things in here because we really just don't have another spot for them so his clothes are fairly organized. I did go through and kind of clean them up the other day. He's got a bunch of hats here, and his um, pajamas and shorts are behind the basket. And then we have this hook hanging over the door for his lanyards and his whistles for his dog training. So that is a look at the armoire itself and how it's currently hi, currently organized. Um, I'm going to go through and just start pulling out clothes and pulling out things that are not going to work for us in the way that this is working right now. Well, y'all, here's where I'm at. I am in total chaos. <laughs> um, and that's kind of usually how things work when it comes to an organizing project with me. I like to take as much out as possible so I can just totally restart with the system. So all of the clothes are here in this giant pile on the bed and I have um, this drawer system that we brought over from my mother-in-law's house. Um, I'd had it in our room when we lived there and so everything that was in there is now on my bed. <laughs> Lots of books and bags and things for packaging Scentsy orders. On my bed I've also got some purses and I pulled out this shoe rack from the armoire closet. I was holding just four pairs of shoes, not really functioning very well because most of them were heels and they were kind of falling through the slats of that anyways. And then these purses, I need to be able to fit back into the closet. So that is a look at the chaos. <laughs> um, let me just kind of show you really quickly what I have done. So with this drawer system, um, I'm using it to hold all of the hair supplies. So previously they had been in this basket and they were always kind of falling out. And um, I couldn't find things easily. So what I did was in this top drawer, I've got a hairbrush, a comb, I've got uh, Shane's hair putty, um, his hairspray, and my hairspray. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my dry shampoo in here as well. So since this is on top, he can easily access his things, and when I need to fluff my hair, I know where um, my hairspray is and a brush. So the middle drawer has nothing, and then these are hair tools that I'm not using often. They're more for specific things. Um, I've got my hot rollers. I used to hot roller my hair all the time. Um, an extra bottle of hairspray, my diffuser, um, my Numi hair wand, and um, a large round brush. So I'm not using any of these things at all, um, but these will be things that I will use probably at another point um, so they don't need to be in with the things that I'm reaching for daily. So on the bottom, this is what I reach for daily. My curling iron, my blow dryer, some heat protectant, um, just a headband. Um, and then in this little bin I've got um, hair ties and just some other things that I use in my hair on a more frequent basis. So I have that on the bottom because this is where I sit and do my hair. I kind of sit in front of the mirror, which is on this door, and um, 
I just work on my hair. <laughs> so that is where I'm at so far. I am kind of unsure what I'm going to do with my purses. I've got a lot of them. And the only nice thing about having that shoe rack in here was that it went all the way across and I could stack my purses vertically on that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this point when I figure it out. I will be sure to let you know. Okay, so great news. I found a spot for my purses. Believe it or not, I have put almost all of them inside of this bin. If you remember from the very beginning of the video, I panned up to the top of our armor and there were some baskets up there. Um, and so I pulled this one down and there were clothes in it. Um, some pajama pants for the winter. So over here, um, some pajama pants for the winter that I had tucked away. And then this shirt, which I had actually been looking for, and I need y'all's help. Um, I think it got sun bleached. It was sitting on top of the, um, what do you call it, the basket. Um, and I think the sun bleached it. What do I do? I've been looking for this, and I really want to wear it. Um, do I attempt to bleach the whole thing? I don't know. I'm so sad. This is kind of just in the back of the shirt, and that's kind of just all that I'm, that's really shown up on the shirt, so it's not even like an intentional looking pattern. So anyways, if you have any thoughts about what I should do with this, let me know. In the meantime, I've got a bunch of purses in here. They're in their dust bags, and I just kind of laid them in. Um, and they will go on top of my armor. So I guess I don't really have to worry too much about the sun because they are in their dust bags. Now, I have two that are left over. And these are more stiffer bags. Kind of just show you really quick what I'm looking at here. So Sensi used to have a brand called Grace Adele. And it was a line of purses and accessories. And I sold Grace Adele and I loved it. Um, and they did close their doors a couple years ago. Um, so I have lots of Grace Adele purses. It's basically all that I use as far as purses are concerned. Um, and anyways, see, this one's brand new. It even has the tag on it. Um, and I love it. So this is more of a hard, uh, harder purse. It's got feet. You can kind of hear it. Um, and so I'm guessing that I'll probably just stick it on the floor of the closet. And once I find... I'm thinking like if I could get some crates or something like that in here, I do have another drawer system. However, there isn't much that I need to put in the drawers. As you can see, I mean, I even have the empty one now. Um, so I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of toying with the idea of what to do. Okay, so I've finished up my organizing project here. I've got everything back in place. So on the top, I just kind of kept everything the same. I looked at reorganizing it, but in actuality, um, everything is organized really well. So again, in this bin are clutches and makeup bags and things that I would use in my purse. And then the same with this bin. So behind here, I just have two pairs of jeans that I'm hopefully, crossing my fingers, going to fit in soon. Um, they're kind of the next size down, and I'm working hard to fit into those. So I have those back there so that when that happens, um, they're easy access for me, and rather than um, being put away in our uh, storage system. The jewelry is the same. All of the clothes are the same. Um, now, on the bottom is where things changed. And I sort of showed you what everything was looking like as I was going through the process. So again, I have this um, drawer organizer with all the hair supplies. This bin is empty, so we have space for something else. On top, I just placed Shane's dress shoes. And then on the bottom here, I have one pair of high heels. I don't wear high heels hardly ever. I mean, I don't. I just don't. I'm... They're just not my thing anymore. I'm too busy chasing small children at church to worry about wearing heels. And I there's barely anywhere that I go that I have heels. But I have one pair of red heels in case I need them for anything. Um, and then I put them, so I put them in that shoe box. And then um, I just have two of the stiff uh, Grace Adele purses here. These would not really fit in that basket where I put the rest of them. Um, so they kind of just go here and they work really perfect. Again, they're nice and sturdy, stiff purses, so I don't have to worry too much about uh, breaking handles or anything of that nature. 
And then over on the side, I still have room to grow, so I just have the garbage can, and this is kind of bugging me. <laughs> um, but I just have the garbage can and there's space in the back. So if we needed to put anything back there, we have got space. I do have one purse that I am hoping to place up above in the wicker basket that's on top of this armoire. I'm thinking it will fit. And then I do have um, another, the blue and white striped purse that I need to clean out today and put that up in that basket as well. I'm going to show you kind of what my room is looking like. It's chaotic, but um, I just, I know that all of the things need to be put away. So I'm going to show you that really quick. Okay, so these are things, some of the things that I pulled out of the closet that need to find new homes. So the Scentsy hat, of course, I need to put these coat hangers back. Um, again, this is all the junk that was, that came out of that drawer system. Some laundry to put away the shoe rack shelf, um, all these pajama pants, some garbage, cleaner, all of that either needs washed or tossed, and um, my purses and bags and just other random junk that needs put away. So I will be taking care of all of this stuff uh, before Colt wakes up, hopefully, knock on wood, <laughs> and then I will call this project done. So that is a look at what I do and the process that I go through in organizing. My aim is to usually pull everything out as much as possible, rework systems, move things around, tweak things, and hopefully find a really good system that will work. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me on this afternoon. I will see y'all later.